Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm uh, Pat. We're, we're the, the Minor, Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we're going over this badass lighter from Alec Bradley. Let's get into it. Welcome back everybody. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, help us out. You guys have been so great supporting us. That's just one thing that helps the uh, algorithm turn our way. So please subscribe and like this video. Drop some comments down below. What do you think of this badass lighter? Uh, Matt, before we get into that, what are we drinking? We're drinking a little bit of the JD12 Pat um, reviews coming soon if it hasn't already dropped yet because uh, this will be our Manship Monday and I think they'll be dropping on one of our Wednesday or Friday videos. Yeah. Um, however, the JD12 is great. Mm -hmm. You know what's even better? One of our patrons gets a chance to win a sample of the JD12. Uh, if you're in one of our lottery system it's levels. Delicious. Uh, yeah, you get, you get a sample of anything that we drink. Um, we've given away even, what, Pappy 15. Yep. We've given away some handy. We've given away a whole bunch of stuff. So, anyways, Pat, let's get into this thing. This thing is a beast. First, look at the presentation of this. Well, let's go over what it's called. It's the Alec Bradley Mega Burner, okay? This is the Octobot version, because they did a limited um, edition versions of them. They have a pinup girl, they have the Octobot, I can't remember what the I know, we tried was. to get the pinup girl originally. Yeah, I like that Ended one the most too. Ended up having to go with Octobot, which is still a pretty badass design. Yeah. And you know what's even cooler about this thing, Patrick? It's got the little mushroom flame. Mm -hmm. Eight hours and 45 seconds worth of light time on a full uh, butane thing. Just so everybody can see the difference there. I mean, so this is just a bigger tank. So they have their tabletop burner, right? Yep. So this is the same top as the tabletop burner. It's just a larger tank. That's the only difference. Got this nice little mushroom flame right here. Great for toasting. Yeah. It's, it's just the cool effect is just on the next level. I really love like the mushroom torch that it gives off. Mm. Um, it's got 48 different little burners in there to help give you that. So this one here, they're going for about a buck fifty. So with the paint job, you can get the chrome tank. I want to say they're like eighty-five dollars or so. But spend the money, just be baller and get something cool like the pinup girl or this thing. Or uh, this thing, the paint on it is absolutely fantastic. As Matt, as you do your B-roll on it, I mean you're gonna see that it's just a fantastic paint job. I think it is so worth it to go. For the paint over just the standard chrome with the agent yeah, it's, for that I mean Alec you get the Octobot holding the Alec Bradley on the backside. Um, this thing is just and it, it's great. It's got the little you know the little finger holder with the the switch right on the back. It's just Super easy, easy to, to use. If this is if you're at home or whatever, you have your own little cigar bar type of thing at home. Perfect thing to have as an accessory at your bar. Absolutely. And Matt, so now how many times have we been at work and I'm like, all right, Matt, pass me the torch. And you sit there and you're like, yeah, oh, nothing it, happens. Won't, it won't go. You know, this one here obviously is fresh, so it's got a great flame on it. It's nice that you're like, I mean, it's going to take years to go Eight through all this. hours, Pat. Eight hours of light time in 45 seconds. Yeah. You're looking at approximately, like, I think it was like 5,600 cigars. On this one beast. Yeah. 5,000 cigars. You know, just fill it up once, have a good time. It's totally worth it. And it's cool. I mean, let's just go over that. Is it needed to have that big of a burner? Would a regular tabletop burner probably work and be enough? Oh, absolutely. But is it a talking piece? No, this, I was going to say, that's the great thing. It's, it's a talking piece. You get the great artwork in it. Yeah. It's the, the mushroom flame. It's great for actually lighting. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, for well, so now here's the next thing, Matt, and, and I say this would probably be the one downside to it. Because of the flame on it, it the wind would blow that out if you were outside and it was kind of windy. Yeah, I feel like it would definitely blow out easy. So I feel like that's the one downside to this, where this, I mean, you're going to be able to light your cigar through almost a hurricane, realistically. Because it's got more of the jet torch rather than just a little yeah, just mushroom the, flame. Yep. But then again, this is more of an inside... 
you know, this isn't something you're carrying around in your humidor. You know what I mean? This is just a at home, this is your cigar bar. This is your, this is going to be, or honestly. Do we cut a hole for it in the whiskey traveling case to bring it with us? We might have to do that. That'd be pretty badass. Right? That'd be pretty badass. Go up to like a barbecue competition or just a. Just anywhere you thing. go and you're like, hey, I got bourbon and I got cigars, uh, here's my badass lighter. The thing is, I mean, is, when I'm here, just chilling at home, you know, down here in the bar, and I'm going to light something, I'm going to use this every single time. I love yeah. the way it toasts a cigar. You had a nice even toast. It's so much, you know, it's easy to move It's around. a wide you flame, know? so you, yeah. you, you can light almost any cigar with it. I mean, hell, the thing's big enough where you could probably light the woody really easily with it. Dude, it's, it's a great... Because we've used this. It's not like we just got this in and we're like, boom. No, I like uh, like everything we do, we get it, we use it, we use it, we use it. And this thing, I, I originally said, Pat, you're stupid. This is a waste of money. You now, did. I think the exact opposite, and it's sad that it's on film, but you know what? It is. Dude, that's like... It is that, awesome. I mean, I'm hearing this more and more from you. I'm no, going no, to start no, to no. get a complex no, from it. No, I mean, you already have a head that's big enough. Especially after the fucking Elijah Craig flight that we did. Mm. Oh, that JD-12 just hits the freaking Dude. spot. Dude, it is that top five. Top five material this year, absolutely hands down. That JD-12 is great. So, again, Alec Bradley's Steampunk Edition for the Mega Burner. Great, I mean, it's nice it comes in that fancy box, but realistically, you don't need much when you have that to look at. I was going to say, the product is great, the way that they package it is great, like they go all out. And now, the control on the side, Matt, if you want to light it again and show, you can change the size of that flame as well. You can really get up, that's pretty much as high as it goes, and then you can, you can whittle it down a little bit, so you get just a little flame, but... I mean, if you're going to do it, just fucking open her up, dude. You know oh, what I'm I saying? Know. Look at how beautiful that thing but, is. I mean, ease to light. Just twist the knob to open it up. Hit the button. Easy to turn it off. Just turn it off. Yeah. So for tabletop lighters, I think it is one of the best tabletop lighters. Granted, is it, since no, we've got it. Taking out the tank, the top burner part. Since we've got it, this has been, I've stopped using these mm -hmm. when I'm here, when I'm at home. If I'm traveling somewhere, I will still use these. But when I'm home, I'm strictly using this now. Yeah. And I absolutely love it. I think it was a great investment. It was a little steep. I think, though, that having... And once again, I really wish we could have got the pinup girl one. The robot thing is still pretty cool, but it's a great talking piece. You know what I mean? It's a great just aesthetic to have on a bar, to have in your cigar room. Uh, it's it's just... It's basic mansion. It's just cool. That's it. Cool factor. So... Um, yeah, so that's our review for this Alec Bradley lighter. Uh, like I said, I suggest you get one. He suggests you get one. If it's something that you have the money for, it's it's a great little, great little thing. Absolutely, uh, and it'll be interesting to see if they if they do another run of different editions of it. Um, like I said, there was the, the Steampunk ones um, series. They had three different three different ones of it. So it'll be interesting to see if they you know have a couple different other artists do. A couple that that designs. actually would be cool. I think I think they only designs. made like. 500 of each design, I believe it was. So it was yeah, a low yeah it was, I think it was 500 of each. Yeah, it was something low. So, um, you know, it, it's great because it's not something everybody's going to have. Yep, absolutely. Anyways, let us know down in the comments below if you guys have one of these, uh, what your thoughts are as far as lighters and stuff goes. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this Man Ship Monday. we got a lot more Man Ship coming. We've got some, we got obviously our knife reviews. we got some knife sharpeners that we just got in, which are pretty badass. Yep. Can't wait to review them because we've been using them. And a couple multi-tools. Just wow. Yeah, yep. some multi-tools. We've been doing grill reviews, too. We've been stacking a whole bunch of videos up. So uh, we're going to have a whole bunch of stuff coming to you guys uh, pretty shortly here. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, subscribing to this channel, and supporting us. It uh, means the world to us so much. Uh, and also, we hope that you guys all have a good day.